When we first met, um, I asked you a question about uh, just something you just referenced, um, how a Notre Dame lawyer, a Notre Dame law grad would be different. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and how does that fit into your vision? And you shared uh, a story with me, as you often do, uh, in your answers, a great anecdote. Could, would you mind sharing with the group your vision for how a Notre Dame lawyer will be different? Yeah, well, anybody who knows me knows that I have uh, an affection for Catholic churches. Uh, yeah. My brother's a, a Catholic priest, uh, and I like to visit Catholic churches when I travel around the country. But there's a really special Catholic church uh, um, to me. Uh, it's uh, Christ the King Parish in San Diego, uh, California. It's a, it's a very poor uh, parish, it always has been. And I learned a story about it uh, before visiting it. Uh, and this happened back in the 1980s. Uh, the parish, the parishioners um, uh, wanted to erect a, a statue of Christ the King in, in, in front of uh, the church, but it was a poor parish. So they had to save for years. They had bake sales and, and collections and um, over the years, they assembled enough money to commission a statue of Jesus for um, the front of uh, the church. And when they were able to finally erect the statue, uh, they, they had a big fiesta for the un unveiling and a big celebration. And so they erected the statue, they had it uh, covered with a veil, and uh, at the end of the fiesta, they unveiled the statue of Christ the King, and everyone was happy. But the very night after the unveiling, the statue was vandalized. Someone spray, spray painted graffiti over the body of Christ, and someone had taken a hammer and broken off the hands of Christ. And the community was devastated when they discovered the damage the next day. And so they did what they could. They cleaned off the graffiti, but it took them years to save the money for that statue. Mm -hmm. There was no way that they could replace it or even repair it. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the priest, uh, Father Robert Cabrini, uh, Fabrini, I'm sorry, uh, Father Robert Fabrini came up with an idea. He took a, um, a poem from uh, 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 St. Teresa of Avila um, and took some of the words from it and put up a plaque at the base of the statue um, and it's in the statue still there to this day mm -hmm. and the plaque is still there to this day I just visited it uh, just a few months ago mm -hmm. and this and the plaque says I have no hands but yours and to me that's what a Notre Dame lawyer is uh, we can go out and we can practice uh, securities law and corporate law litigation whatever but at the end of the day the core of our being is that we are lawyers who are trained to be of service to the world, to be a force for good. We are God's hands mm -hmm. in the law. We are God's lawyers. And to me, that statue represents what it means to be a different kind of lawyer. Mm -hmm. God is telling us, I have no lawyers but you. Mm -hmm.